Instagram. Welcome to another episode of You, Me, and The, the Flea. Flea. Happy and Thursday. Just like that, it's another week. Yeah, baby. Welcome back. I'm hyped today. I'm over here just stacking my That's electrolytes. That's a roar, baby. These are good. Yeah. Freaking good. You know, we're the, we're just out here. What are you loving right now, actually, for, like, non-alcoholic beverages? Like, so I go on these kicks, right, of, like, a few, I'll say, like, a few weeks to a month where I just, mm-hmm. like, want certain things. Like one thing. Yeah, like, I had, like, a crazy ginger ale addiction, like, <laughs> last, like, You two did. Weeks. Then you had, like, an Arizona tea phase. You know, I yeah, like get. You do. That's then right. you had you had a spin drip phase before that. I'm over them. Okay. I have spinned out. Um, dude, dude, you were a I spinny. cannot. I'm like I actually think I'm over like the sparkling water. Yeah. It's just it's all starts to taste the same. Well, yeah. It's and just I think I overdid water it. Games, yeah, I mean. and then like when I mix it with vodka too, when yeah, I'm not drinking, like, it, it's like I'm like, oh, this is just flashbacks of. Yeah. yeah. So are you liking these? What are you drinking? Right now, I will say my top favorite drink of choice is Sprite Zero Cherry Lime. Really? Yeah. Okay. At me later. I'll have to try it. Yep. I always, like, you're it's really good. good. At, you're good at picking, like, really at, good. At, I feel like finding new stuff. That's why I'm always, like, I love coming here. So I'm, I'm like, what's yeah. in this fridge? Oh, yeah. The Swap, let me just tell you guys really quick. <laughs> swap H. HQ fridge you know, and gotta, snacks yeah. and candy here. Thank God I don't work here every day because <laughs> I would do. be blown up. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. You got to keep listen. Swap you got to keep the people happy. Is fresh because you know we need to boost morale around here. Yeah, it's a big it's a big deal. Yeah, you know you I do come good. here every day. You do so, good. Anyways, what are we talking we about today? Girl, we're talking about our favorite thing. We are finally going to tell the people makeup prices. Let's do it. Hell yeah. So listen, we, for the past, I mean, obviously, since the duration of this podcast, have always talked about all of our makeup finds, right? We've done like makeup looks, we've done whatever. We've never actually talked prices. And so today I did the, I did the work. I did the Lord's work. We, (laughs) we wrote down all of the flea prices and then I am giving you drugstore pricing. Perfect. What do you consider the drugstore? Like Walgreens. Okay. What else? CVS. I guess Target. Like, do you think is Ulta and Sephora are those considered? Really? Okay. No. Well, for some of the, I did include Ulta and Sephora. I guess for some, for some, but no, for me, that's like a nice. Really? Okay. What about like Amazon? Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, so those are, okay. Those are the names we'll kind of see. And obviously like, you know, your normal Walgreens, Walmart, Target, um, you know, all those. Perfect. Um, want to talk about the price of makeup? It's insane. Um, well, as someone who <laughs> was in that world, like, have yeah. you seen like drastic increases? All of them, really? Yeah. I mean, like, even are we talking like Maybelline, Laura? No, like, because that's I'm basically like, what we're gonna be talking about today. But like, still, those even high end stuff too. High oh, end really? Stuff has gone up. So has like drugstore makeup. Yeah. Um. You know, I used to love elf and i still do but i vividly remember like certain products being like two three bucks now right. they're like five six right i just ran out or not ran out but i needed a new beauty blender mm-hmm. and uh i don't really like for that kind of thing i don't like i'm not brand specific yeah um but my mom was in town and we were at target and i was like let me just stock up everything right now i yeah. knew we were gonna be filming traveling i'm like right. well, let's just get it all um yeah walked out ended up spending like two hundred dollars i'm like on what and i'm like looking at the prices everything has gone up like a buck or two right it really has right. so that's when we go to the flea market and and she's like oh two bucks for everything i'm like what <laughs> i know it's wild it's definitely wild. i have definitely shifted from buying like designer makeup because like i used to use chanel foundation it's like 65 dollars I just can't. Yeah. Like now, I was just going to ask you in your professional opinion yeah, here. because I have shifted. Well, okay. Like, do you think, though, brands have, like, upped their game? Like, NYX, yes. Elf. Like, yes. obviously, like, because we're looking at all these, like, oh, this is a dupe for, you know, for Charlotte Tilbury, or this is a dupe for Dior, or this is a dupe yep. for whatever. You personally who have used that stuff, like, do you see, like, yeah. a quality comparison? Like, yeah. Where it's, it's like, not off. Oh, no, okay, it's good. good. 
Oh, good. I will say, I think drugstore makeup is like having a moment right now. Yeah, I think I so think too. I think that it really has like upgraded mm-hmm. and improved, I would say for sure in the last two years. Yeah. But specifically, really in the last year, mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of stuff that I use that's like over the counter drugstore makeup. Yeah. That is great. Like right now, mm-hmm. my foundation is wet and wild. Okay. No way. Yes, dude. Yeah. I'm, I, and I just like there's I have other priorities right so instead of spending 65 bucks I can literally get all of my products now right for that <laughs> price yeah I think just because of like us filming I'm like getting ready more and like going through more makeup and yep. stuff yeah it's just yeah it's there's there's dupes and there's definitely like possible um I mean Listen, makeup, I will always buy and yeah. justify. I will say I feel like I'm kind of a hard person to ask because I, like, am very passionate about it. But, um, yeah, I I definitely think that this past year it's, like, drugs for makeup is having a moment. I'm very much so, a tr- a- like, I'm a tried and true person. Yeah. So it's, like... I don't really veer off of like my go-tos, right? So like I have like, you know, five products I'd probably never live without, but so for me like sure they've gone up a little bit, but I don't really know. And then yeah. every time I experiment with something new, <laughs> it's maybe from the flea, so Yeah. Um so then I don't really so, see yeah. yeah, I'm not yeah. really like impacted to yeah. be honest or um my mom's best friend like has always worked at for Estee Lauder, yep. Clinique, whatever. Yep. So sometimes like if there was a new product or like a new palette she would always give us like you know stuff to try and so i never that was really the best. i never really needed anything do you mm-hmm. know what i mean like i still have so much stuff and like or i'm gifted like um my godson a couple of years ago got me like this really awesome like eyeshadow palette and i'm like i can't even i'm like barely getting through some of this stuff so yeah. anyways all that to be said i when doing this episode, I didn't realize how expensive things were. And it's crazy. Yeah. And obviously, I'm a big TikTok girly. And so, like, when I watch stuff, it's always like, this is a dupe for this. Yep. This is a dupe for that. Yep. This is a dupe for that. Or you see, like, these big makeup artists like Jaclyn Hill or, like, you know, Manny Mo, like, all of these people kind of shifting to being like, oh, like, I don't even, I reach for this all the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, they're reaching for these lower price Mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. And so it it just never really phased me, like, how expensive things are. It's wild. Anyways, today's focus will basically be, will mostly be on, I think there's like one or two items that aren't um, drugstore and things that we found at the flea. But for the most part, it's all like drugstore makeup. Perfect. So let's get in here, baby. All right. We got so some stuff to go through. I'm reading swap prices. Yeah. So at the you can um, we'll go through the items and I will tell you what it costs at other retailers and then you can tell us what it was at Perfect. Swap. All right. So the first one is what, Rachel? L'Oreal L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lip Crayon. Okay. So this was something I bought and mm-hmm. do you like this? I do. I mean, I'm a matte person, you though. Are, I don't and like I gloss. love the gloss. I am so, like, <laughs> juice me up. It's just good. But, I mean, you have one sip of your drink, and it's gone. And now, I, so this so is the I problem. Hate it. I go through so much lip gloss. <laughs> like, it's insane because yeah. of that. I yeah, put it see? on, take a sip. Yeah, and then it, you have to put more be, on. Yeah. Like, that's annoying. Mm-hmm. No, give me a mat. I need it to stay there at least for an hour or two before yeah. I... Cause I don't, I don't go to the bathroom a lot either yeah. too. So I don't touch up. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, we're digressing, but okay. The price for this at Walmart was five ninety nine. Okay. Um, I, in different colors it, the, here's the other thing too. It varies in colors, right? Like, so like, for example, like the if, shades yeah, offered. like if you yeah, got yeah, the plum, yeah. it was five ninety nine. If you got yep. the red, it was seven ninety nine. Yep. So just kind of be heads up about that. And then, um, the price at Ulta was ten ninety nine. Okay. So that's what I got for that and one. Swap was two bucks. Yeah, we paid two dollars for that. Two. And it's good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Number two is Sally Hansen Perfect Manicure Salon Effects. These are gonna be your press on nails. Mm-hmm. Which are having a freaking moment. Yeah, they are. Um I know. I I'm like, am I dumb? T- am I dumb? I just for me. paid a hundred bucks and I'm like Yeah, am I dumb? Like nails I could go is a spend whole other story. Two dollars. Yeah. Okay, the price for these, these are like, these come in like leopard, 
bright yellow, muted yellow. Like, I mean, any color under the sun, any pattern under the sun, like these effects, are coming in. Yeah. Yeah. So $9.99 at Walgreens, $8.39 at Target, $9.99 Ulta, Walmart $7.48, and Jewel $9.98. So these are like around 10 bucks. Yeah. Okay. What was the swap price? $2. Yeah. <laughs> but swap isn't it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Number three. Rimmel Lasting Finish Exaggerate mm -hmm. Automatic Lip Liner. Yeah, so this is like one of those like turn Twist lip ups, liners. Yeah. Very hard to find, by the way. It was challenging. So it's nine forty nine at Walmart, five ninety nine at Walgreens on sale. The swap price two bucks. <laughs> yeah, we found like a jackpot. Um, the she's two there every week, though. That's I know, the thing. Guys. Like you guys could also hit this jackpot. We'll we'll drop her info after and then and then this. Well, yeah, we'll add you. <laughs> um, number four is the Clint. Cleanse it off Cara Beauty. So this is going to be like your makeup remover. Yeah, like a face wash, yeah. essentially. Okay, so this one was hard to find. This is one of those. I don't, I'm not familiar with Cara Beauty, but from what I saw, I think it's an overseas brand, mm -hmm. particularly like a Korean or something mm -hmm. brand. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty popular at the Flea. Um, so I saw this for $17.99 at eBay, $15 on Poshmark, and from a wholesale website, which you had to buy multiple, yeah. I, th I think like 10 or something, yeah. it was $7.50. What was the swap rama price? Um, this was five bucks. Okay. Which, you know, and it's it's interesting too, when you see something for $5 at the flea market, you're like, oh, you know? Yeah, which is so funny. It's so funny. We do it all the time. And we're like, oh, I don't oh, know, $8 we, yeah, for that. I don't know. But yeah, you'll see some of these. Oh, speaking of, um, number five is a beauty blender. So this is a single one. This is just your normal. Dude, regular schmegular, nothing crazy. Nope. Not the beauty blender quote brand, nope. right? Is this real? Okay, $6 at Elf. I just told you I just spent six six forty nine at Ulta. Yeah. Six seventy nine at Target. $6 at Walgreens. Sephora had one for twenty dollars. Yep, yep, I believe it. Insanity. I just had to buy it. It's this. a sponge. Uh-huh. Swap, the price is one dollar. Yeah. And we're talking about a single. Yeah. So. Still a single six dollars for yeah. a single beauty freaking blender. beauty blender. That's what I just paid at Target it was six bucks. Oh my and God, I was so, that's so salty insane to me. that I like couldn't buy it. I need like couldn't wait for our flea trip. God. I was like, yeah. I need it right now because I threw my other one away. Oh no. And I was like, frick. <laughs> Number six is the Sol de Janeiro 71. <clears throat> yeah, so these are popular. This is like your body spray. Your, your, you know, you can use it in your hair too even. Yeah. This is one of those brands where they're pretty consistent across the board. Yeah. Like it doesn't change. No. And this is one of those things where, again, we at the flea, when we saw the price, we're like, nah, we both I don't want to pay. <laughs> Dude, do you remember Wait, we both looked at dude, each other? Okay, Ulta, $25. Sephora, yep. $25. Kohl's, $25. Revolve had it for $25. The actual website is selling it for $38. And the swap price was $15. Wow. And we were like, oh, I don't want to spend I $15. <laughs> cheap, cheap those. <laughs> wow. Um, so I this number seven is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Highlighter. I've been using this. Yeah, I what actually, do you think? I like it you do. a lot. Okay. Uh -huh. It's. I actually put it on my eyes, too, Ooh. and it looks so pretty. That probably I mean, is a good This is a idea. winner for me. Okay. I actually got this at the flea to try, mm -hmm. and it is worth the hype. <laughs> okay. Love that. This is another one. <clears throat> Elf, the Elf brand is pretty consistent across yep. all of it. It is $9 at Ulta, Elf, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Target. Yep, and the swap price was 2 bucks. Wow. Number eight is the NYX Always on Top Setting Spray. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one was eight ninety nine at Walmart, $10 at Ulta, nine ninety nine at Target, $10 on NYX. Or NYX. What do you call it? I call it, it NYX, but it's yeah, like NYX, NYX. I think okay. you can go. It's universal. Okay, gotcha. Um, two bucks. That's yeah. swap. <laughs> do, we, do we sense a pattern here? Yeah. Okay, number nine. This is the... Belief Mini Travel Set. So actually, this brand this is, is sold at Sephora and Ulta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is 
the one I've been talking about in my favorites and whatever. I love this little thing. Um, it's like a mini set that has, you know, a cleanser, a moisturizer, a sleep everything. mask. Yeah, uh, it's like the perfect. And they're travel. all minis, very small. Yep. Yeah, they're all like smaller, whatever. But I particularly got it because I'm like, oh, I was taking a trip, and I'm like, I knew I had to replenish my other stuff, but I'm like, let me just take this yep. really quick, you know. And wow, okay. When I saw these prices, twenty three dollars at Kohl's, thirty eight dollars at Sephora, and twenty ninety nine at Walmart. Um, swap price was two bucks. Yeah. I paid two dollars for oh. it. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have next? <laughs> you guys, this is a hitter. Yeah. Number ten is the Audacity perfume. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed with this perfume. I'm just gonna <laughs> say it. Um, if you guys are listening, you can Google it and find it online as well. But the mm-hmm. flea market has it. It smells so good. Yeah, it and I does. just got Christina on the wave too. I know. So it's by the brand Love Who You Are. Um, so L W Y A, and then yeah, Rachel. It's called Aud- Audacity, as Rachel said. The one point seven ounces, which is the one we have, the per spray. It is forty eight dollars on Amazon, twenty eight dollars on their actual site. What did we pay? Two bucks. Yeah, <clears throat> wild. You know what? And this one goes pretty quick. And, and so I, I'm, I'm a, like I, thinking to myself, like, if I paid twenty eight bucks for it, I'd be I'd furious. I, also, I'm like aggressive <laughs> with it, where I'm like, yeah, like, spray it ten times. A spray's a spray, dude. Yeah. I'm not like, oh, I'm one like, spritz. I am not your one spritz girl. No, I'm not a spritz. You're gonna, one. you're gonna spray it. You're gonna, you're smell, gonna smell it on my it hair, every, my neck, my everywhere, my, my fingers. <laughs> Big perfume girlies here. Yeah, <laughs> hide it from Rachel, please. <laughs> if you have it. Put it away. I typically will have BTW every time I know I'm hanging out with Rachel. I'll be like, okay, this is the scent I'm wearing. I need to pack her a scent because I know she'll ask me and I don't like smelling the same as you. So yep. I'll like, you know, I pack Rachel scent. No. Yeah, I love it. Talk about thinking thinking about other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know. I'm just so kind. Okay, you are. Number 11. Number 11 is the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. So didn't you just try this? Yeah, I just what got it. What are the thoughts? I mean, it's like a serum. It's it's like really? super yeah it's like super light it comes in a like little dropper, dropper like that yeah so it's very liquidy like runny just, but just, it's just light it's one of those okay. like no makeup makeup foundations Love you it. know okay um so it's like a light light cover a light wear got it yeah yeah i mean actually no i would say like probably like a good medium coverage like okay. it's not terrible okay. but it just feels very light. Gotcha. It's a good one. Thirteen ninety nine at Target, seventeen ninety nine Ulta, seventeen ninety nine at CVS, fifteen ninety nine at Walgreens, twenty sixty at Walmart. Very random, but weird. And yeah. the swap price was two bucks. Mm-hmm. All right, next up, number twelve is a twelve pack of spoolies. <laughs> Okay, these WTF five forty nine at Amazon, four ninety nine at at Icing, seven forty nine at Walmart, and if you want, you can get it from for two ninety nine at eBay. That was the cheapest I could find. Really, and the swap price is one dollar. Yeah, I remember you got these, and I was like, I still have one left. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang, that was like a year ago. Uh huh. Oh, all right, another another go to of ours. Number thirteen is the lip. Plump and pout. It's by Beauty Creations. It's basically like a little syringe pumper. It's yeah. it's like your tingle. Box, um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Love this stuff. Nine ninety nine at Walmart. Nine ninety nine on Amazon. Eighteen dollars if you buy it wholesale on True Color website. And the uh, flea market price at Swap was five bucks. Which, another one, this was another mm-hmm. one where we're like, five bucks for a lip gloss? Yeah, but I love it. It's a good one. It is. Number 14 is the Garnier Skin Active Green Labs Penis C Brightening <laughs> Gel Washable Cleanser. In so many words, it's a gel facial cleanser yeah, wash. like organic. I'm literally on my last drop of this. Yeah, do you like this? I do. I mean, it's a good cleanser. Yeah. It really, I mean, it gets the job done. You yeah. know what I mean? I will say, too, if you're, like, somebody who is a makeup person and you, like, are all about skincare, you know, double cleansing is a thing right now. The flea yeah. market is a perfect spot to grab a cleanser yep. like this. Totally. That you're going to be, you know, if you're using an oil or a cleanser and a remover, like, Go and spend two dollars, right? Instead of you know fifteen bucks. Yeah, agree. 
thirteen fifty at Amazon, eleven at Walmart, nine dollars at Kroger, twelve ninety nine on eBay, two dollars at Swamp. I want to say I even got this for one dollar, but I might. Yeah. I am not sure. It was I think not like, more than shoot, two. I think it might have been like two for type of deal. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Okay, number 15 is the Vera Wang Embrace French Lavender and Tuber Rose Perfume. So this is also your, like, what is it, 3.4 ounce? Yeah, something like yeah. that, I think. Or maybe one, I don't know. But um, this is a good, another good one that we found. Also gone. <laughs> Shocked. These were, like, in the boxes wrapped with uh-huh. the, like, plastic. Yep. Like, like we were getting a gift. Twenty three fifty at Amazon, twenty fifty nine at Walmart, nineteen ninety nine on eBay, thirty five dollars at Kroger. Two Ew. bucks at Swap. Sick. I know it's a good one. This one like lasted well yeah. and like everything. Next up, something you got. Next up is number sixteen is the L'Oreal Paris True Match <clears throat> Lumi Shim- Shimmerista <laughs> Highlighting Powder. So essentially, it's like a loose powder with like highlight, like little sparkly flakes in it. Oh, pretty much. okay. Do you like this? Or yeah, I do. Really? But it's like I would put it as like a glow. Like you could use it on your arms, oh, okay. like, like your a neck. Bra- I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Your decollete, yeah. whatever. Yep. Um, okay. Twelve ninety nine at Walmart. Six dollars on Amazon. Two dollars at Swap. <clears throat> wow. Okay, number seventeen. <clears throat> Okay, I literally just saw this at Target. Really? Yeah, and it was locked up, so it's expensive because <laughs> it was behind, it was behind the glass. Locked up. <laughs> Number seventeen is the Starface Clear as Day uh, sunscreen gel. Okay. Yes. So it's a small sunscreen. It's almost like the what's the one that's like popular? Goop. Yeah. That one. That's kind of what it reminded yeah. me of. Like. Two buys. This was actually really hard to find online. I'm not gonna lie. So I found it for $17.19 at Walmart, $12.99 on Amazon. On the actual site of the Starface, it was sold out. Yeah. So I, yeah. So I didn't see it at Target, but um, yeah, it is at Target. But, okay. Uh, this one at Swap was two bucks. Wow. And it was like a regular size yep. too. It wasn't like anything. This one was shocking too. Go ahead. Number 18 is the Olay Body Wash, 33 ounce. So this has like your pump. I actually love this body wash. Mm -hmm. It smells so freaking good. And I feel like my skin is like genuinely really soft after. (laughs) I am getting one next time I am a fan of this. No joke. As soon as my finish Every time people stay at my house, they're like, that is such good body wash. I'm like, yeah, y'all used it. (laughs) <laughs> Frank. Hey, well, all right. Nine ninety nine at Target, ten ninety nine at Jewel, fourteen ninety four at Walmart, nine ninety nine CVS. Swap price was seven bucks. So number twenty is the Italia Deluxe Top Five Mousse Matte Lipstick Set. Do you remember these? They came in like plums, reds, like they were Neutral. different. Yeah, I actually there was have really one of good these sets. left, and they Love smell them. really freaking good. Okay, again, this is one of those where I was like. Is it expensive or not? Yeah. Um, fourteen ninety five at Walmart, five fifty on a wholesale website, twelve forty four on Amazon, and on the actual site it was fifteen dollars. The Italia site. The am the Amazon. The swap <laughs> price is five dollars. Nice. Okay, so this is interesting because like with that Italia brand and like this this product that we're about to talk about, these are all kind of like not your basic like L'Oreal whatever, but yeah. It's uh, so they're I think overseas brand Korean you know more of that like Asian beauty yeah so anyways um, what that's worth this number twenty one it's the Stas- the Sassy eyelash glue so this is actually pretty big like mm-hmm. it's like two fluid ounces um it's actually a really good eyelash glue gel I oh, okay. have actually I've never seen used this. it but I've, they have a I lot of them I haven't used it just because I'm kind of like I only use Duo okay. But, I have seen people use this on like YouTube and like Instagram tutorials and stuff. Gotcha. Five dollars on Amazon, six ninety nine at Walmart. And the swap price is four bucks. Steal. Number twenty two is the Maybelline Lifter Lip Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. You just got this. Yeah, so this is something I just got that I really like actually because I feel like the holler- hyaluronic acid makes it so moisturizing and like Mm -hmm, oily mm -hmm. and just kind of glides it's like not sticky at all it's very it's a good one and i wanted to try it but lip glosses be adding up yeah girl (laughs) as we talked about 
Um, so this was eleven forty nine at Target, ten ninety nine at Ulta, six ninety eight at Walmart, which was not a good color, and then twelve ninety nine at Walgreens. And the swap price was one dollar. Yeah, I paid one dollar. Can't go wrong. Kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> Number twenty three is the Response Soul three D multi layer effect faux mink eyelashes. So this is a strip lash. Mm-hmm. Lashes are big at the flame. <clears throat> yeah, you there's see. all sorts of styles. Yes. They have brands like big brands like Ardell and mm-hmm. Kiss, or mm-hmm. then there's like more boutiquey, smaller. Right. Some of those like, um, even like. Oh, what's it called? Oh, like drag, yep. dramatic, yep. Yep. like with glitter on them. If Jewels. you want like the costume ones that are like blue or pink, like a ton of lashes. Yeah. These particular ones were three ninety nine at Walmart, twelve ninety nine on Amazon. Three dollars at Swap. Jeez. So we have a couple more. <laughs> yeah. Number twenty four is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Nail Color. So okay, nail polish is pricey dude yeah i don't it see i haven't bought joke. it in so long mm-hmm. so like what is like the i'm not we're not even talking opi what is no. this right now in a drugstore okay 9.89 at target 560 at walmart but it was like a very not pleasant color uh-huh. that but that was the cheapest yeah. so i included it 12.99 at ulta 12.99 at sally beauty and that's all in this kind of like blushy that bubble bathy yeah. color you know what i mean yeah it's insane <laughs> And Twelve dollars, ten. Like, like, let's say that was ten dollars. Yeah, ten bucks. What? The swap price was two dollars. Yeah, you can't. You no. cannot beat that. And then, lastly, number twenty-five is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I just tried wow. this from Rachel's the Jackpot Flea, Lines. <laughs> and I love it. You guys, if you can see my face, <laughs> you can't see the dark circles. This stuff's it, great. Your skin has a beautiful skin radiant Ooh, glow. Yes. <laughs> Okay, when we saw this, we were absolutely shocked. Yep. Like, Rachel literally looks at me. She goes, oh, my God, they're selling Charlotte Tilbury. Because they're this vendor had yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. And I'm like, no way. Anyways, $33 at Sephora. $33 at Ulta. Mm-hmm. $33 on Charlotte yep. Tilbury site. And $29 at Walmart. The flea market price at Swap was 15 bucks. Right? That's what you yeah. paid. Okay. Yeah. And even then, you're like, I don't know, it's 15 And I'm like... I know, like... How much is it normally? And you're like, no, it's expensive. Like, I'm getting it, because it's, yeah. like, half the price. Yeah. But, dude... This just goes to show you how much you can find at Swap mm-hmm. and how great the prices actually are. Yeah. I... Okay, so a lot of these were $2, you heard, like we yeah. said. And... This is particularly because one of this vendor that we go to all the time, she has contracts with Amazon, um, CVS, Target. What else am I missing? Amazon, Target. CVS, I know for sure. Walgreens. Yeah. So she buys like... Pallets. Pallets of these products, like wholesale. And literally, full disclosure, I mean if there is something that's like within like a week or two of expiration you tell her and she will toss it like she has a bin yeah that of things that she like tosses or like goodwills i don't know what exactly she does with them but she does not sell them so these things are all securely wrapped (laughs) like as if you were buying it from walgreens and just good stuff and she's like yeah she's like i mean i buy it for you know so cheap and i need to get rid of it quickly so she's able to sell things for two dollars, and it's all you of the best products. You can literally stock products. up. Everything is brand new. Yeah, there's been multiple times Christine and I have just gone and just went crazy. Yeah, I mean, and it's like so many. Like it's different. I will say too one thing about it because a lot of people were like, "Oh yeah, but maybe they don't have like my the color I'm mm-hmm. looking for or mm-hmm. something." It is my favorite though because like she actually does have a lot of like color options. Yeah, like, tons always even like the nail polishes there might be like you know at least six colors to choose from or something so i don't know it's it's worth it you guys like and again even some of the indoor ones that have again these like you know the korean japanese Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. products that are still really good that we're not exposed to here for so such an affordable price i would definitely we always give them a try right yeah i i mean I have gotten so much stuff. 
what why do you think like there is such a like markup or like such a big difference on some of this stuff like at the stores yeah i just think people were always going to be buying it yeah and there's always going to be a demand for it Mm -hmm. i think with more and more social media and the people just making videos and influencers there's always going to be like that new hot thing and i think these stores know that they can market it and yeah. they can get people to pay this price. I mean, that's a good point. I feel like, have you ever noticed on Amazon when, like, an influencer, for example, yep. will be like, oh, get this. It's ten ninety nine right yep. now. And sometimes I'll click it, and then it's, like, 16 yep. And I'm like... I just had this with Amazon. I'm wow, like, you're just playing because me. so many people are uh-huh, buying it, uh-huh. they're like, you know what? We'll just up this. Yep. Because whoever is selling it is really selling it. Yep. And I'm like, I just think it's so crappy. It does. It, they know what they're doing it is and, what it is yeah. yeah um okay so how do you feel about like dupes and knocks off you knock offs you said like really the quality as we mentioned is yeah, pretty much there it is but with these two like we're able to experiment a lot i was more. gonna say i the, the, my thing is like going and like being able to experiment and try new stuff mm-hmm and not having to pay like an arm and a leg to try it because that's like one thing i just recently bought something from target and i hate it and it was like 16 bucks i'm like I no know. this is junk yeah you know dang mm-hmm. yeah i don't know i've had more hits than misses i would say oh, i've had too, so many hits at yeah at the flea i just feel less guilty if yeah. i throw away a miss and yeah. it's two dollars three dollars 38 yeah. because i've done that too like i'll buy um what did i it was, i don't know if i can't remember if it was an estee lauder foundation or like an it cosmetics when i was first trying it and it was so light on my skin and Hate i'm that. like oh i don't want to go back i don't want to return it I, and before i'm like it's 48 dollars, like yep. that i just lost yeah you know anyway so i'm willing to spend it to try something if it's two dollars i feel we that. always say that but it's so true like from a girl's perspective do it <laughs> do it no, I'm, Just I'm with you. It. Any other final thoughts here? Come to the flea market, you guys. If you haven't been, uh, we week after week, we tell yeah. you all the things that are going on. There's yeah. literally something for everyone. I am a very bougie, high-maintenance girl, and I can find things. So <laughs> let me tell you, it we is worth a things. trip. It is worth a trip for sure. Yeah, and I, I agree if and it changes mm-hmm. so like frequently you know what i mean i was like going back to um this the vendor that we're like referring to her products because like they're so cheap like they do change yeah. so there is like you know fresh colors to try and whatever and i feel like that's why we're always so sucked in yeah, I know. right now we're trying all her all the hair products i'm like oh my gosh this was the one coconut oil like shampoo yeah. that yeah. she gave us i'm like the conditioner i'm like oh my gosh like it really is good for two dollars <laughs> yeah it, it doesn't make you feel guilty no because like for me you know i used to drop a lot of money at sephora and i would feel bad i'd be mm-hmm. like coming home like did i really need to buy all this well it's not Some, even used like it's, it's like really trendy right now to spend like five six hundred bucks there i'm like why yeah i know so i think if you have you know if you're listening and you don't have swap by you go to a flea market by yeah yeah. i'm telling you like or if your daughter is just getting into makeup or you're just getting into makeup like those Mm -hmm. are the places to start and to try and to experiment yeah before you're going and spending you know a lot of money at the store yeah and just like just like you would at like walmart and um you know walgreens cvs like obviously check the packaging and if it's not something you want fine but trust like i wouldn't I'm a very big person on like integrity and whatever, and I hate selling people on things that I don't yeah. believe in. And this is something I do, which is why I'm always like, kind of like repeating myself. I feel like, yeah. but it's true. Yeah, like yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell somebody to go get something if it wasn't. If we weren't using this stuff, we would not be yeah. out here. Yeah, yeah. And that's all I have to say about it. All right. So yeah. So those are the makeup drugstore finds. If you do want us to like look for something or compare something or want this venda's exact booth location drop us a line we'll we'll tell you we got you but yeah that's all for today so i'm i'm still shocked over here well pick your pick your jaw off the ground baby
As always, if you guys like this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and thanks for listening to another episode of You, Me, and The, the Flea. Flea. See you next See you time. Next week.